One way to find people to follow is to do a search. So what I'm going to do is do a search for, uh, let's see, people who do video tutorials. And you'll see some will show up already, a list of people. Um, there's pages I can follow, but what I want to do is jump down to the search area here. So as we can see, there's all sorts of choices here, and you can scroll down and look for people that interest you. Um, they won't all be perfect matches for you. Here's one here that looks to me like this fella is uh, creating video tutorials. So if you hover your mouse over their name, you can add them to a circle. Whoops, I don't want that. I want to add them to a new circle called video tutorials. Video tuts for short. And there we go. I've added one new person. Now shared circles and all sorts of other ways to get people to follow are other things I'll cover. but problem with shared circles is you end up getting so many people that it's hard to filter through them so sometimes going through people one at a time is a great way next we head on over to circle count where they have um, found a way to list Google Plus users according to their popularity and not necessarily by how many people are following them but by how many people are commenting plus wanting and sharing their posts. As you see here on the most popular section, you can sort it by who's getting the most comments, the most plus ones, the most shares. But what I really like is you can determine how many followers they have. So let's say I just want to find people that only have a thousand or less followers. So I can go like this and update it. And then as you can see, here's a list. Because I don't necessarily want to follow people that have hundreds of thousands of followers because they probably won't even notice me. <clears throat> Not necessarily. I mean, I, I comment a lot on the people's streams that I follow. <clears throat> but sometimes you just want to find people that are still looking to grow their, their network. Especially when you can find people that are getting lots of comments. That must mean that they're posting interesting content. Okay, let's get a little more specific here. <clears throat> You'll notice a lot of them are languages that I don't speak. So if I choose by country, here, let's just go with Canada. And then uh, make it people that have 200 followers to 1,000, I'm going to say. Because I want people that have been, a, you know, got a few followers because that means they're doing something, right? Go like this. and then here's our results and they should be English now good 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 so average six comments per posting that's pretty good I mean that's yeah that's really good that's exactly what I'm looking for in my case oh hey look I'm there too <laughs> neato okay so yeah that's basically all it takes and then if you click on it um, you want to open in a new tab and then you can go and check out their profile actually first it shows you the circle count profile which is really neat and there's a graph down below and you can also see um, if they've been having people added to them recently as well. So it's circlecount.com. I highly recommend that one. And then, of course, if you wanted to follow them, you would... Uh, oh, geez, I can't remember where the link is here. Actually, that reminds me. If you install, install the Chrome extension called uh, Circle Plus, you can click on it, and it'll recognize that there's a Google Plus profile on here, and I can add them right to a circle from here without having to go back to the Google Plus site. One way to find their link though is at the very bottom of the page. I'm sure it's somewhere else on here. I, I just I can't remember. If you scroll to the very bottom of the page. No, that wasn't it either. Okay, I just paused the video. I couldn't remember how to get to their page, but basically in the picture, if you click on the little plus sign, then it takes you uh, to there. Like I said, though, the other way is to install the Circle Plus uh, Chrome extension and I'll get you the address for that yeah okay it's called Circle Plus if you search for it at the Chrome extension store or I'll just put a link to it under this video the next site I recommend is gpc.fm stands for Google Plus Counter you can find all sorts of people to follow by searching for topical keyword lists and if you create your account, which is free, and you log in, you can actually start your own lists, which is a great way to get some exposure. So at gpc.fm, a good place to start is on the um, top lists. 
from the main home page if you click on where is it now if you click on top with posts for example and then you click on popular lists then you get all sorts of ideas and it shows the topic as well so you can browse something you're interested in for example creative creative people let's click on that and see what happens and as you can see it shows how many lists they're in or how many circles for example this person has is in 43 thousand and something circles so that gives you a good idea and again because it's by topic you can get an idea a good one is uh, journalists on Google Plus for example you can be pretty sure they're going to be posting about journalism or have some interesting stories and you just find one you like and you click on add to circles and there you go you're at his page add them to circles I'm gonna create one called journalists and there you go. That's how you manually add people to follow from this site. The next one we'll look at is findpeopleonplus.com. Now I should point out too, I mean, if you want to follow celebrities, you could use any one of these sites. You don't even need these sites for celebrities. Really, you can just search for their name uh, in Google Plus itself. But here we're interested in finding people not with a million followers and people that don't engage with their audience, right? You're looking for real people to follow. So that's why we're visiting these sites and coming up with some ideas. And find people on Plus, you can do a search. And just like a Google Plus, it tends to pop up results in real time here. Or you can just hit enter and get a whole mix of results. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Interesting. Not sure why that is, but here you can still get an idea. You can see that people are talking about uh, the search term for this particular. Oh, and it goes straight to the post itself on Google+, Plus, which is pretty handy. I think perhaps a better way to find people on Plus is to click on Discover People, and then you'll see a list of people by what they do and what their interests are. So that could help a little bit, too. But like most of these great directories for Google Plus users, they're just getting started. And some of them are a work in progress, right? But it gives you a few places to start anyways. But like anything, it takes some time. You'll have to investigate what people are writing about and see if they're worth adding to your stream. All right, so we looked at three sites that are basically directories. Let's try a different approach, and we'll go to the spreadsheet for Google Plus Shared Circles. And I'll provide the link in this article as well. Chris Porter made this rather advanced or comprehensive, I should say, list of people. And you've got a link to the circle itself. And you can also provide questions if you, or suggestions or what have you for each list. There's quite a diverse range of categories here, like deaf dogs, and really, <laughs> horse lovers, art, architects. So he's got quite the list here. Actually, I'd probably recommend starting here, but you just have to understand that adding shared circles can tend to flood your content stream pretty quickly. So in a bit, I want to cover uh, some good practices for managing your circles when you add shared circles. There's definitely a great way to add 100, 200, 300 new people. And heck, some of them might even follow you back. Here's a Google Plus Directory Chrome extension. All you have to do is launch the app. In fact, all you have to do is go to Plus Friend Finder to get there. I'm not sure why it's listed as a Chrome extension. And that's interesting. It doesn't show up as an installed extension. I guess they just listed it in the Chrome directory to be found easier. So yeah, you go to Plus Friend Finder. And again, you can search for people to add. If you go to the directory, you can search for, uh, click on by, by uh, letter, or just go to the directory link, and then you'll see um, topics of people that you can follow. For some reason, in order to get to, to the directory, I had to click on a letter, just any letter at all, really. And then over on the left, you'll see a list of categories. Here's an advanced trick 
for searching. If you just go to regular Google search, not Google Plus search, and you put plus.google.com in the site or domain field, and then put in your keyword, and then you can search, and we'll see what comes up here. Yeah, so that's what I've been looking for. I should have just went straight to here first in this video. As you can see now, I've got the terms here, and they're all Google Plus pages. Interesting that I couldn't get that good a result in Google Plus itself. So I guess that's my power tip of the day. Okay, so I've just been playing around with some other directories, and the one that I've found so far that worked the easiest, the one that I could actually search for terms I wanted, was uh, Google Plus. Uh, gglpls.com um, I was able to click on the directory if you weren't there first and there's some tags down the left here but if you click you can search by tag in here and you can put something in and surprisingly enough it actually gives you some results not only that but I can find people well there's only one but still it's only one term yeah, this is working nicely. I even see myself already, and I just added it a few seconds ago. So there you go, a whole bunch of results for an actual keyword. So gglpls.com. That seems to be the best directory so far for searching by topic.